Hello everybody, today I'm going to present the solution for problem E from Code Forces Round 713, Division 3. A round I took today as out of contest, and as you can see, I did quite well, even though there could have been things which could have gone better. But it is what it is. So I'm going to explain the solution for problem E. A rather interesting problem compared to the other ones from this contest. And let's begin. So, a permutation is a sequence of n integers from 1 to n, in which all the numbers occur exactly once. And we are given four integers, n, l, r, and s. And we are asked to find a permutation such that the sum of the numbers from the position l to the position r is equal to s, and it has n numbers. And we need to find one permutation, or print negative 1 if we can't do it. A really important thing to notice is that on the other positions, like outside of the range from left to right, we can literally print everything we want as long as it ends up being a permutation. So that's the easy part of the problem. Now we basically reduce the problem to finding a way to add numbers in the given range such that their sum is s. And I'm going to present a greedy approach, which is rather easy to implement, but you still need to be careful of a few things before you go. So let's say we have uh, to fill three numbers, so three positions. It doesn't matter what the actual interval is, like where is left and where is right. The thing which matters more is the length of that interval. So let's say we have to fill three numbers. And we have at our disposal six numbers, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And the required sum should be, let's say, 12, or even better, 14. So, whenever we fill these numbers, we need to take the maximum possible number at each step in order to have more choices later on. But at the same time, we need to be careful to not take a bigger number, because otherwise we will get too big of a sum. So here with 14, we can add 6 here, and we would be left with 8. We can add 5, and we would be left with 3. And we can add 3 here. But let's see, let's see what happens if we would have had to fill four numbers using this approach. So again, here would have been 6 and 5 as well. Let's say four numbers instead of 3. But here we couldn't have added 3 because that would have led us to 14. And we still need to fill this position because it is a permutation. We can't add numbers equal to 0. So in this case, we will need to fill like this, 2, 1, instead of 3. So at this step, we need to also check whether our sum, if we take the biggest possible number, would still be bigger than the sum of the first x numbers, where x has, is the number of positions we'll have to fill. So the sum has to be bigger than x times x plus 1 over 2. And while we're doing this process, we need to check everything I just said. So let's be go to the source code. So here we are firstly filling the numbers from left to the right. And here I'm checking uh, as long as the position is not zero, like we can still add numbers. And the sum would be uh, smaller than the sum of the remaining numbers. And if we found a number, then we add it in the array and we also mark it as used. And this is the harder part of the problem. Now the easier part is to just fill the remaining numbers with the numbers which were not uh, used. And that's easy. Now we still need to be careful at one more case, as in if the sum is too big and we have too few numbers to fill, we can't get to zero, so we need to also take that into consideration. And if everything was good, then we can print the permutation. Otherwise, we just print negative one and say that we can't do anything about it. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the 
press the bell button in order to get access to the videos as soon as they are published. You can also join the Discord server for more competitive programming discussions and also other special events. And it's in the description. Until the next time, stay safe, good luck, and goodbye.